Success in this game depends less on strength of body than strength of mind. Arnold Palmer. Competitive golf is played mainly on a 5.5 inch course, the space between the ears. Bobby Jones, you know, the list goes on. But the reality is everyone says the mental game is important, but doesn't say what to do about it. I don't know if you're like me, but I've read countless books on the topics of performance and the mental game. And no doubt I've gotten a thing or two here and there, but I've never gotten a holistic look at it, what my mindset should be. What should I specifically be doing to improve my performance? But then I stumbled upon this little known book talking about the mental game and how to perform at your best. And I was blown away. And here's why. It's not just one person's opinion or what worked for one person 20 years ago. It's based on 30 plus years of research on the brain and performance. And it's by one of the leading researchers in golf. Her name is Dr. Debbie Cruz. Her study is completely focused on how to help people perform at their best. And she's done the research to back up what she says in this book and give you practical ideas on how to take your performance from where it is right now to where you wanna go. It's the mindsets, it's the tactics, and it's the strategies that you need with the mental game to get going. And to me, it's crazy that not every golfer has heard or read this book. So I reached out to Dr. Debbie so that you could get this incredibly important information. Uh, we actually created an audio book so you can listen to it and go through it at your own pace, however you want. And then we also have a PDF so you can reference different graphs and images as well. Uh, I'm excited to get this out to you. I think it's something that every golfer needs to hear and understand about the mental game. If you play golf, you coach golf, Definitely get this.